know, I know you belong to somebody new. But tonight you belong to me. Although all we're apart, you're a part of my heart. And tonight you belong to me. Way down by the stream, how sweet. It will seem once more just to dream in the moonlight. My honey, I know, I know with the dawn that you will be gone. But tonight you belong to me, just a little old me. This doesn't mean that we're friends. Okay. What's that? That's the Crash Pad theme. Not the funny bone, it's really the on the nerve is what got hit, and it really gave me a sensation. Usually those sensations are something that I really like. Kevin Holliday? <sighs> no, that's somebody else. No, that's him. You've been served. You're a dick. Yeah. You okay? favor bad. Oh, you do? What for? I need a buddy pass. Hmm? A buddy pass. One more time? I need a buddy pass. I need you a need buddy a buddy pa pass. I don't understand, man. Why don't you just use your own? I need to go home. We work for the same airline. That's why I'm asking you. The others don't fly to Bozeman. Bozeman! Born and raised. Woo! Can I get a buddy pass, please? Why don't you just list yourself? I don't work for an airline. Well, you can't live in a crash pad if you... Wait. As in used to, got fired. Wait, what? For what? It's not relevant at all. Holy <laughs> You're yes, that guy! Me. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey. Huh? Hi there. Hey. Brad. Hmm. Can I get a buddy pass, please? You are a legend! It is every Brad. flight attendant's wet dream to do what you did. Come on, man, focus. Ugh. Hey. Hmm. Can I get a buddy pass? It would be my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. What you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're making a sandwich. 
Well, that's funny because I'm actually disarming a bomb. You're... What? Yes, I'm making a sandwich. What? I have something for you. Oh, no. You're gonna like it. What is it? What is that? What does it look like? It looks like a purple ukulele. Well, that's weird because it's actually a tuba. <laughs> Touché. What is a gift like that supposed to mean? It doesn't mean anything. We can play together. <sighs> oh, Stuart. What? I'm not in love with you, to be clear. I just want to be friends. It doesn't work like that. Why not? Because I'm a girl, you're a guy. We can't just be friends. I have plenty of platonic girlfriends. Because you pretended to be gay for six years. I'll pretend to be gay again. If I knew what it was you wanted, I would totally pretend to be that. signing them. Kevin? Lisa, I'm not doing this. I haven't seen you in I am trying how to many fix months? this. And you haven't been answering any of my phone calls. It got tiring, Kev. You got my letters? I got them. So did you show them to the kids? Those kids are my world. You're my world. Then why haven't we seen you? I've been obviously busy. With what? Trying to find a new job. This economy is I don't give a damn about the economy. How many job interviews have you been on? Five, seven, one, none? Hmm? Well, not many interviews per se. See, just... that is exactly my point. You've probably just been sitting on a couch and no. wherever you've been living. No, I haven't just been sitting on a couch wherever I've been living. I am not traditional. I do not work well within the system, Lisa. You know all this. Yeah, I know, and that is the problem. What is? Carla told me what happened, said she was on the flight. Carla exaggerates. What did she tell you? She said you got drunk on mini bottles of gin and punched a passenger in the face. That's pretty accurate. But I, I, I paid for the gin. You punched a guy in the face! Do you want to know the whole story? I bet you Carla didn't tell you the whole story. You punched someone in the face! He looked at my wedding ring and said that my wife must be ashamed to be married to me. Male flight attendant, no future. He said that I probably don't even know how to satisfy you. Oh, so you punched him in the face? Yeah, I punched him in the face! There are a lot better ways to handle a situation, and you shouldn't have been drinking. Yeah, I shouldn't have been drinking. And you shouldn't have punched a guy in the face! Well, agree to disagree. Your boyfriend? Hello, the homeless guy? Oh, your boyfriend! The, the, the one that's obsessed with you? The homeless guy that's been there long before you moved in and will be there long after you move out? That guy? Uh-huh. He's getting a little creepy. He follows me everywhere. I'm going to fix things and then I'm going to come home. See, you got it backwards. First you should have come home, then fixed it. 
I don't want the kids to see me as a failure. It's a bit late for that. No, it's not. I want to show the kids that you can live your life your own way, not, not according to somebody else's rules. But you can't. Look at you. You can, if you're dedicated. What have you ever been dedicated to? You've never finished Lisa. anything. My graphic novel. Yeah, I've been hearing about your little comic book Graphic novel. for the better part of 10 years now. And I've yet to see any of those little squares with the little pictures and the words. A cell? Lisa, I finished it. Where is it? It's not here. Oh, right. Yeah, it, it's all in your head. No, it's not in my head. It's on paper. It's just, it's not here. It's at the crash pad. Look, I, I can go get it. You get it? Then bring it here and show me that you finished something? Then we'll talk. He's in love with me. No, he's not. He just thinks you're rich and he wants more money. No, he doesn't. He even watches me with binoculars. No, I don't. I just like birds. Not you, silly. My boyfriend. He even watches the crash pad, too. Who watches the crash pad with binoculars? The homeless guy she thinks is her boyfriend. Because he is. Kristen, come talk to me. Okay, well, um, this is quite a dilemma. Someone might get murdered. We should get out there. Yeah, yeah, if it's gonna happen, I wanna see it. Ooh. Uh, he, he, he's documented everything. Who? Kevin, he, he made a comic book. It's, it's all in here. Jimmy freaking out. Molly <laughs> slipping on the butter. <laughs> Our bathroom sex. <laughs> Where's my boyfriend? That is so awesome. Do you suck pop? That is so not awesome. And you help? One time, one time, and it went horribly. Really bad. I mean, everything's in here, and it's so detailed, right down to your exquisite jewelry. Are you two hooking up? How the hell does he know that? No, of course not. He's obviously taking some liberty here. How does he know I'm illegal? You're illegal? No. <laughs> yes. Expired visa. How do you fly? We have to destroy this. Yes, yes, agreed. I think it's kind of, it's got to go. There's nothing in there about you. For everyone else's sake. We have to destroy this. Yes, but how does it end? What? How does it end? I mean, is it a complete issue? Yeah. Oh, he went for the obvious ending. Is that us, me and you? We kind of are the two main characters. Really? I always saw it as more of an ensemble piece. But we're not even friends. They're not, they're not by my choice. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let me see it. Uh, I'm gonna destroy it. I just... <sighs> want to read it first. Are these divorce papers? Okay, uh, uh. so... We're gonna get the graphic novel and then we're gonna work things out, right? Then we'll talk. Okay, so I'll, I'll go get it and then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you that I'm not just a loser. And I, I also, I need a place to stay for the next couple days. There's a Motel 6 near the airport. That is so out of tune. How does it develop? Hmm? Our relationship. Oh, well, that's up to you. In the comic book. Haven't gotten there yet. Just curious what he sees. You want to go out tomorrow? You're not flying, right? Uh, are you asking me on a date? Call it whatever you want. Date, friends, 
whatever. Okay. Date, friends, whatever then. Okay. You know, I can teach you how to play that. I'm not really good, but, uh, <laughs> but that's terrible. Well, I've never played before. No, that's not even a chord. 